So this is the Forest Biodiversity Conference at University College Cork, an international conference, the second ever in the world, truly globally represented. This morning we had presentations ranging from Ireland to Zurich to British Columbia and yesterday we had presentations from New Zealand. So here we have 140 researchers who are keenly interested in the role that forest biodiversity can make in the functioning of forests, but also in terms of how climate change might influence forests. In Ireland, we have about 11% of the landscape is covered in forest, which means that it's basically a granular landscape. What do I mean by that? Patches of forest in an agricultural landscape. And that's a particularly interesting model in some sense, the, our European colleagues think we don't have forests, but in fact we were very proud of them, some of the natural forests and some of the plantation forests. The amount of natural forest is much lower than the coniferous forest, which is about 2% versus 11%, but nonetheless, this extra forest, if you like, of exotic species is really, really important for a number of points of view. First of all, we, what we say, these forests provide ecosystem services. That ranges from flood control, climate mitigation by sinking carbon, and also providing habitats. But increasingly, we also find that humans are using these habitats for recreation, for hunting, for walking, for cycling. And we're about to embark very soon on a new project looking at ecosystem services and the value of forest for humans. For the future, I think it's really important that Ireland manage their forests because what is appearing right now is that the question of land ownership is, is arising. It's not really clear who will own these forests in the future. But also, the extent of planting that's going on is much less than what we might have expected, which means that the available habitats that for organisms may diminish. And this is really important, because if we want to plant the future, whether the future is under new climates or whether it's for new species, we have to know how much forest we're actually going to have present. And I suppose one of the real joys of forest, actually you can plan that for 40, 50 years, because the cycle is that long. So what you establish now, you can reap benefits for the future. And what does that really mean? It means we get it wrong. We were wrong for a long time, but if we get it right, there's a really good habitat opportunity for the future. This event has been really important for Irish biodiversity research and has really been contributed by the people who've attended, which is 140 people globally represented, both from Ireland and all over the world, but also from our sponsors, from the Department of Agriculture, Food and the Marine, who are the title sponsor of this conference.